Hi and welcome to NBC. Today's subject is about low blood pressure and its explanation. Well, low blood pressure occurs when blood pressure is considered much lower than normal. Or simply put, it means the heart, the brain and other parts of the body do not get enough blood. Well, the normal blood pressure is usually 90 over 60 and or 120 over 80. But it can vary in individuals. The medical name for low blood pressure is hypotension. As stated, blood pressure varies from one individual to another. A drop as little as 20 minutes can cause problems for some people. There are different types of causes of low blood pressure. Severe hypertension can be caused by sudden loss of blood, shock, severe infection, heart attack or severe allergic reaction. Some hypertension is caused by a sudden change in body position. You may have noticed this because it can occur most often when you shift from lying down to standing. This type of blood, low blood pressure usually lasts only a few seconds or minutes. If this type of low blood pressure occurs after eating, it is called PO hypertension. This type most often affects older adults, those with high blood pressure and people with Parkinson's. Neurally mediated hypertension NMH most often affects young adults and children. It can occur when a person has been standing for a long time. Children usually outgrow this type of hypertension. Now certain medicines and substances that can lead to low blood pressure including alcohol, anti-anxiety medicines, certain antidepressants Diuretics, heart medicines, and including those used to treat high blood pressure and coronary heart disease. Medicine used for surgery and of course painkillers. However, other causes of low blood pressure can include nerve damage from diabetes, changes in the heart rhythm, not drinking enough fluids, obviously called dehydration, and heart failure and symptoms of low blood pressure may include blurry vision, confusion, dizziness, fainting, lightheadedness, nausea or vomiting, sleepness, weakness and exams and tests. Well, the healthcare worker or doctor will examine you to determine the cause of your low blood pressure. Your vital signs, like your temperature, your pulse, rate of breathing and blood pressure will be checked frequently. But don't be alarmed if you need to stay in the hospital for a while. This is usually to monitor your condition. Some questions asked will or may include, what is your normal blood pressure? What medicines do you take? Have you been eating and drinking normally? Have you had any recent illness, accident or injury? What other symptoms do you have? Did you faint or become less alert? Do you feel dizzy or lightheaded when standing or sitting after lying down? Well, the following tests may be done. A basic metabolic panel blood cultures to check for infection, a complete blood count, CBC, including a blood differential electrocardiogram, ECG, urine sample, an x-ray of the abdomen, x-ray of the chest and some more. While the treatment or some treatment for lower than normal blood pressure in a healthy person that does not cause any symptoms often does not need treatment. Otherwise treatment depends on the cause of your low blood pressure and your symptoms. 
When you have symptoms from a drop in blood pressure, sit or lie down right away and raise your feet above heart level if you can. While severe hypertension caused by shock is a medical emergency and you may be given blood through a needle. Medicines to increase blood pressure and improve heart strength. Other medicines such as antibiotics for low blood pressure after standing up too quickly inclusive. Well if medicines are the cause you may have to change your dosage or be switched to a different drug. But please, please do not stop taking any medicines before talking to your provider or doctor. It may be suggested to drink more fluids to treat dehydration. Wearing compression stockings can help keep blood from collecting in the legs. This keeps more blood in the upper body. Or well, people with NNH should avoid triggers such as standing for a long period of time. Other treatments including drinking fluids increasing salt in your diet. But talk to your doctor before trying these medicines. In severe cases, medicines may be prescribed. Right, the outlook of prognosis with low blood pressure can usually be treated with success. Possible complications fall due to low blood pressure in older adult can lead to a broken hip or spine fracture. These injuries can reduce a person's health and ability to move about. Sudden, severe drops in your blood pressure starve your body of oxygen. This can lead to damage of your heart, brain and other organs. Well, this type of low blood pressure can be life-threatening if not treated right away. Well, when to contact When to contact a medical professional, if low blood pressure causes a person to pass out, becomes unconscious, seek treatment right away. And call the local emergency number. If the person is not breathing or has no pulse, begin CPR if you're qualified. And call your doctor right away if you have any of the following symptoms black or maroon sores, chest pain, dizziness, lightheadedness, fainting, a fever, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath. Well, the prevention. Your doctor may recommend certain steps to prevent or reduce your symptoms, including drinking more fluids, getting up slowly after sitting or lying down, not drinking alcohol, not standing for a long time, using compression stocking so blood does not crack in the legs. This is a brief list and you should consult your doctor to hear this for professional advice. Once again, thank you for watching NBC and I'll see you on the next vlog. Thank you for watching one of our videos. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment. Thank you once again. From your NBC team. Hashtag NBC Media.